Oh, I really want to see how this knowledge works mm -hmm. out for him. I thought it was interesting on uh, a support choice that you went for. What did he go for? It was a uh, Frog Gear Eevee. Really? That's mm -hmm. not the one he usually goes for. So, I I mean, I can kind of see, like, Frog Gear being a way to, like, bait Scizor into approaching. Because, like, you think, like, okay, I can just see Hover, like, trying to approach it, trying to absorb that, and, like, maybe he can play around that to his advantage. So, I wonder what he's going to go for. Because that's, that's usually it's a bit of an off choice for him. He usually goes for Mew nowadays. Right. Ooh, gets that tick throw mm -hmm. very early on. So I was noting uh, my was watching TC earlier. He plays super aggressively, and yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, and it was really really cool to see because Scizor is usually a defensive character. So like, you, you seeing a defensive character just go crazy is really interesting. Hmm. All right, so sound might be disabled at the moment. Spud plugged his uh, headphones into. This all right, so sorry if there's a little bit of, um, sound issues. Blame Spud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, getting that shield break is actually really, really big. Oh, yeah. And there we go. That's like the aggressive stuff. It's like go, taking those risks. Like he's, Straight into the ground. He's though. totally willing to do that because like, he knows like he'll take him in. He goes to the shield break again because like, I'm just going to keep doing it until it works. That's very similar to actually how Spud plays yeah. like, now that I think about it. All right. Big combo here. Big, big Massive stuff. damage. Keeps it in phase. Ooh, he, okay. I was going to say, TC's using patching. I thought it was going to be for that exact situation, but he didn't call it. Yeah. I just noticed he was yelling Patchy, which is a bit of an odd Ooh. choice. Oh man, that was <laughs> risky for Sir Spud, but it worked out. And only 16 seconds left on, on the, the clock. Patchy against the frog. That's a smart choice. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Oh, like getting that JX in. Down to the wire on that one. That was <laughs> close. I love seeing these interactions between the two. Yeah, these are two characters that have real, both of them, like on their own, have really interesting interactions. So like mm -hmm. seeing them go against each other, very very cool. And I, I can see like. TC and Sir Spud like trying to play against each other because I, I know these two have practiced against each other a lot. Um, Spud was telling me about how he's practiced against them in the past. So these players know each other. So oh, I told me in time mm -hmm. there. Man, yeah, that counter cannot be cannot be too great against uh, Gengar and Field. I'd say overall, I think Gengar should be winning Field most times. When I think about I the two characters, that. I always thought Scizor's Field was a bit weak. Um, his reactions are just too slow. I think way too reactable. Yeah, it? exactly. But man, big conversion off that sidewire. Alright. Gengar coming out, game t round two here. Patchy, he's using a lot for the frog, but I wonder what else he is trying to go for here. Man, Ooh, look at, he is evading those lasers like crazy. But taking advantage of the situation. Oh, that's a high, that's a really high bug. Man. Oh, stuffed out burst. Crazy. Okay, Spud's really just putting him in that. Yeah, he's dominant right now. Yeah, that clean. grab, good reaction. Man, solid game one for sure, Spud. I think this is going on a winner semi, because this is going to be a best of three. Yeah. I'm like, dang, this is too early for this. <laughs> right. These are probably the two best players here, I would say. Like, well, TC, um, like, he plays really well at all the majors he's done. Um, except for I saw him, that was his first one. But ever since then, he's been placing top eights. So he definitely oh, yeah. has the skill to win tournament, uh, to, to, uh, get, uh, to get into high place in the tournament. So he's really, really in here. And he's going to be also playing off of maybe misknowledge from all, the, all of us players here. So Right. Anyway, Sir Spud, though, our consistent number one, except for you taking him from that one time. But <laughs> <laughs> um, just incredible, consistent player and really, really dominant in our scene. So I re I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Sir Spud with an early lead, but still equal footing on mm -hmm. every round in there. Yeah, Sir Spud, definitely a wall when it comes into mentality. Yeah, exactly. Like, he is so hard to break. Like, when he gets some play, like, where the two other best players are a Garchomp and a Machamp, he does not break, <laughs> and I find it so impressive. All right, so... Playing a little bit around the field. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a backdash. Oh, man, this... Whoa, the, wow, that was a very interesting set of interactions there. Gets that grab. Mm -hmm. Again, I think those wrists are really going full... Uh, Going through with TC, I think he's being a little bit more like going for like attacks or combos, but he is just taking whatever he gets and just running with it. Right. Just like that, Another man. Turn. Mm -hmm. All right. I will say it's very interesting that um, I noticed this last game I watched. Um, TC doesn't go for like spacing out counters. Something like where that's a very Scizor thing to do. It is, and I find that's why I find like so interesting that he's so aggressive with Scizor. Mm -hmm. He's like in your face all the time. Like I don't want to space out with bolt punches or counters. I'm gonna get in your face and punch you. Alright, so Patchy seems to patch up a lot of um, Scizor's um, shortcomings in field against Gengar, it seems. Yeah. Field to like, get rid of all those like neutral whites, it goes straight over like um, staples. 
about using his movement to his advantage. Something I always appreciate in field. Oh wow, what a combo off the staples. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Man, Spud's not looking at a good situation. Only eight seconds left. Yeah. I don't think there's it's anything. It's hard for him to get anything in. Yeah. I don't think Gengar has the immediate damage output to get that <laughs> to get that in. So yeah, that was a bit of a losing situation. I think you, I think you're just trying to get some burst going, a mm -hmm. bit of a combo. TC has been dominating this field phase this game, because really, like Spud's really looking low on his synergy for game two. Oh yeah. All right. Nice patience there by Sir Spud, but a little bit with him on the combo. Is that going maybe for a reset? Maybe accidents? Mm -hmm. All right. TC working way off the corner because he can get hit by this combo. I love his aggressive uses of Sword Stance. Mm -hmm. um, he used that run right next to it. I love that change they made to Scizor. I think that was a really really cool change. Um, Patchy, interesting choice. Sesh Spud didn't have to stick back. Wait, what's that gonna catch? Oh, just short. Yo, <laughs> nice call Sir Spud. Spud. What a call there. Excellent reactions, knowing his spacing. And uh, no. I know exactly why he did that because he needed his burst right now. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get this, this opportunity again. I'm just gonna go for it. And now Sir Spud is taking it home. Has his burst in the back when he needs yeah, it. He's doing what he can without his burst oh right now. Oh my god, just keeps catching him. This offense from Sir Spud. Wow. That TC suddenly that. went from a winning situation to just quickly Sir Spud winning it back. All right. Oh wow. my god, Sir Spud. Yeah, very dominant round there from Sir Spud. Yeah. Just, those players are just super patient with their shields. Like oh, some, yeah. some players just get a little bit antsy, like, oh, I need to make the first move, or they gotta make a move. But those two were just like, I'm just gonna wait. Like I have no reason to do what I need to do. Does Patchy get rid of Astonish? It must have, because that was the dive kick. Right, right. Interesting. Okay. Mm, okay, so going for the hover Y. A very powerful move, but also very susceptible to being cheese. Great. As my laughing experience I found out. <laughs> oh, then that U turn is mm -hmm. be big. That's actually a really nice air control move for Scizor uh, in this matchup. Because if he's just approaching, you just throw out a U turn. It covers a lot of space, keeps Scizor safe. This burst is oh, yeah, huge. There's pressure right now. Oh, God. TC just lost a lot of health off of that. Oh, my God. That's huge. And take away oh, some yeah. of that burst. He has nothing. Is that a. Oh, oh the U turn coming to clutch. That's huge. Okay. He needs to get to his burst. He needs Otherwise, he's something <laughs> right now. Oh, aerial ace was scary. Oh man, oh, that's another U turn. That's exactly the opportunity TC needs. Oh, oh with the grab what? from Sir Spud. Excuse me? Wow, from being what in the disadvantage, just going for that grab. What was <laughs> that grab? What was that grab? Jesus. He just opened his sixth third eye. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he saw into the future. He saw his one winning situation. <laughs> Grabbed wow. him. Oh my god. Wow, Spud taking that set too over there. Really cool how you can see them playing off each other. Like it's, it's very right. clear these 